So I'd like to discuss with you the anatomy of a stretch mark. Now, lots of people have stretch marks and it's no biggie. I mean, they can be a little painful actually when you get them. Uh, and maybe they're a red badge of courage, as they say. Um, kind of a, a mark of an, a life experience. But stretch marks are basically referencing um, marks that we see on the skin, often in the abdomen, uh, often when the abdomen has changed its shape or grown, say from, from, um, from growing a baby inside or from gaining, uh, gaining weight, which are both well, pretty common human experiences. So what are we looking at? underneath the skin, like what's the structure, what changes, what happens with a stretch mark? Well, in order to understand a stretch mark, we need to understand dermal patterning. So what do I mean by dermal patterning? The dermis, right, is a layer of the skin. We have epidermis, dermis, hypodermis. The dermis, in particular, has a very uh, kind of beautiful pattern. Uh, all over the body we see these little circles <laughs> uh, which are formed from sort of struts of collagen fibers and if you get enough straight lines in a row they sort of start to, you start to dial in a circle, right? If you get enough lines like so, right? If I take this straight line and then this straight line and then this straight line and this straight and this straight and before you know it it starts to look kind of circly, right? So dermal patterning uh, is, is an aspect of our skin structure that just makes many, many, many circles. So the typical presentation, if we're not looking so close at it, is sort of like this. We look at under underside of the skin, we see a white collagenous grouping of fibers under the skin that make a, a circle patterning, and I call it dermal patterning, and it just keeps going, keeps going under the skin. Well, what happens in the case, oh, I kind of brushed it with my hand. What happens in the case of a stretch mark is this. Let's look at one, one circle again. What would happen if we had uh, tension placed on this configuration in a way that Mm, changed its shape so that we end up with instead of a, a circular interior we kind of get a maybe an oblong interior like that it's been the circle has been stretched now if that happens through a sequence of these we end up with this kind of configuration here a sequence of stretched out bands and then we go back to the kind of normal ones here, right? We go back to normal ones. So the stretched look is this. It's blown, it's literally blown out circles <laughs> surrounded by regular circles. And when we look on the surface of the skin here and we see that it ends up looking like a, a streak, a streak on down. But if you put it under the microscope, what we see is that. Here's a big, here's a little smaller. So in another video I talked about does fascia stretch and there was a valuable comment on it from an old friend Carol who said, Gil maybe we're talking about differences in language here with the use of the word stretch. I think she's right. So in the case of a stretch mark we're we're using the word stretch to convey fascia, basically the dermis of the skin, fascia that has been lengthened beyond its capacity to restore itself to where it started. That's a, a sort of a specialized use of the word stretch that gets adopted by people and it's in that context that they say fascia doesn't stretch. And I understand what they mean. So. When we talk about then a stretch mark, we're talking about an instance of that version of the word stretch where 
the circling pattern of the dermis has gone beyond its capacity to return to its vibrant, dynamic, multi-directional movement potential and is sort of left in this banded instance where it can't return to its circle again. And you know, people might ask, can you make stretch marks go away? And I would say you can make the redness go away, right? With various uh, attention to skin care, but the transformation of a blown out dermal circle, uh, I'm not so sure about that uh, because it, it really has changed in its structure. And I'm not, I'm gonna be the last one to say, no, we can't ever go back, but uh, it would be a pretty good trick <laughs> to, change, um, to change this back into this because it really has lost its elasticity. I appreciate your watching. Thanks for studying with me. If you'd like to learn more, visit me at gilheadley.com. There's a ton of stuff there. Enjoy.